how did you get interested in ceramics? Well, I always had the ability for art, so I then came here to UTEP. Um, I learned with Vince Burke, and he just made me fall in love with the clay, and yeah, I can't get enough of it. This is a very uh, visceral experience, isn't it? I mean, you're, it's touch, it's, there's something, I mean, it's almost like kneading bread dough as I watch you. Yeah, it, it's kind of like the opposite of kneading bread dough, actually, because with bread, you're trying to put air into the dough. This, we're trying to take air out. The air needs to be out because an air bubble in the clay can make the pot explode. So the ceramist is trying to force the air out of the clay with every push. The process is called wedging. Each ball of clay is wedged maybe 100 to 150 times just to be sure. Then Brent Edens takes the clay to the wheel and starts throwing it. Brent is an avid student as well as a teaching assistant in the UTEP art department. Melanie Urban is one of Brent's students. So what makes a good potter? First off, patience. Patience is a huge thing. Because if you go too fast, you screw it up completely. After that? I think somebody has to have a good touch feel for the clay itself also. That would help, yeah. <laughs> Because most all of us, when we started, it was just going everywhere. Oh, but it, just like this, like everything else, takes practice. I mean, the more you do it, the better you get. Oh, yeah. For more information, please visit lasartistas.org.